coming to you from Jezero Crater on the surface of Mars. This is Mr. C. Seventh grade, happy Tuesday to you. Another a triple R day, another review day. My job is to lead you to the water trough. My job is to do a really good review with you this week. Your job is to triple R everything we go over. Now first, I have a guest today. I was informed by granddaughter Alice that this is Big Bear. Okay? I, I don't really think he has a name. I think she just made that up like last minute or something. Anyway, there he is and taking a snooze right now and um, hopefully this won't be you during our review times or your triple R times. Um, remember daughter Laura's recommendation whenever you're studying to study in chunks, take frequent breaks, um, no distractions, so really concentrate, visualize things in your mind. Anyway, all of those kinds of things. So anyway, um, I'll keep, I'll allow Big Bear to remain right here as long as he doesn't snore. So anyway, I have the semester exam right here. There it is. And I want to remind you of a few things. You are, let's see, you are writing two verses. So study your verses from your verse sheet. You're writing four reasons that prove the Bible is the truth. And four ways that you are different from animals and like God in small ways. You're welcome. Uh, let's see, flood arc animal questions, how many points? Um, like six points, five points. Creation evolution from your Fulman Pillars chart. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. Superpowers like six points. Scientific method, six points. So anyway, and so on. So perhaps more clues tomorrow. Rocks and minerals, quite a few points on rocks and minerals. And volcanoes. So anyway, there you go on that. We finished up your first set your first set study guide and then today we're doing this this would be quarter number three tests so Mr. Philip handed it out if you'll have it out get ready have a pen get ready to write T's beside things that we're going to cover or that we do cover. So get ready to do that. I wanted to show you this, a divine design. This is one of my all time favorites. This is a leafy sea dragon and he exhibits mimicry where he's mimicking something that he's not to get camouflage. God designed him to look like seaweed, so he is a seaweed mimic, mimicry. There's no way this formed by itself over a long period of time. It's just so awesome. Leafy sea dragon, amazing. Uh, a couple of other reminders. Any tests that you haven't made up, you need to get those done. Test makeups. Okay. Um, I know this will make you feel sad and bad, but I have moved back your journals 
A1 through 4, B1 through 4, C1 through 4, D1 through 4 answers until Friday. Friday now you're going to turn in your journals and I'll grade those over the weekend. So I will have all of your tests graded hopefully by Friday. So anyway, in the next couple of days I'll have your quiz that you did on May 7th. I'll have it in the computer. Um, I have your um, April 30th test now up and in the computer. So you'll see it on the computer. Um, today you're going to see a video on my favorite land animal, the giraffe. And I've got a roller coaster for you out of New Jersey. It's not necessarily one of the tallest roller coasters, but they do something really scary the way they operate the roller coaster. So see if you can catch what it is. So that'll be coming up on the end. So I'm trying to save you five minutes uh, to work on the science activities and then the giraffe and roller coaster another five minutes. Okay, so anyway, so let's review for a little bit. So um, you're looking this over on this first page. This was your very first test, test one. So uh, Go Tappy package is um, is talked about your superpower, your GoTappy package. So, and that is listed on your um, first study guide. So, make sure you look it over and know it really well. You've got to know it. Um, there was confusion at first on what a vacuum is. A vacuum is just where there's no atoms, um, no matter whatsoever. Doesn't mean there's no gravity. It's no matter, no air. Um, you've got some of the weather stuff down below. Kinds of clouds. So you've got the puffy cotton ball clouds. Those are cumulus. Then you've got the cumulonimbus, the massive ones that cause really severe thunderstorms, lightning, hail. And then you have the long layered clouds that are called stratus, stratus clouds. So check those out. And then the kinds of precipitation that fall from clouds, check it out. Okay, the next page, Virga, and you see what it is. It is precipitation that doesn't quite reach the ground. It evaporates before it hits the ground. And then you've got La Nina and El Nino. See that? There we go. You know the way to remember that? La Nina is a warm pattern. Warm, the word warm has an A in it. So, I am drawing an arrow from the A in warm. See that? Come on, get that together, Mr. C. Over to the A in La Nina, and then El Nino ends in O. That is a cool and wet pattern. The La Nina is a warm, dry pattern. El Nino, cool, wet. And see how I did that? The O in, or the double O in cool, to the O in El Nino. So, and then jet stream and boiling point. Um, is 100 C and 0 C, 212.32. Why do we not get real rough weather here in Arizona? We don't have a clash of warm, moist air, a collision 
with cool and dry air. We don't get that collision. Okay. And then there is the water cycle. It's God's way to distribute water everywhere. Evaporation, evaporation, evaporation. Condensation, 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 and precipitation, precipitation, precipitation. Anyway, look that over on your own. The second test, test two. What did Jesus make? Everything. Jesus made everything. Everything that was in the creation, he made it. Okay, now on here you've got your smarts, there they are, your smarts, you've got the smart chart that lists all the smarts, where you've got your GoTappy package, so make sure you look at it over, how many smarts can you name Mr. C, I don't know, let's see, how many can you name? You've got your, first of all, body smart. You know, you're really coordinated. So physical kinetic, as they say, math smart. And you've got music smart, art smart, drawing smart. So you've got all of those smarts. Um, let's see what else other smarts. <laughs> My my body and my brain are really tired today so let's see what else I can come up with um, word smart huh so you'd be really good at writing and anyway I'll leave it at that true or false these smarts are part of your superpower sure metric system questions why is the metric system popular worldwide? Base 10. It's logical, just a few things to learn. So you're looking over, looking over that. And then the standard units in the metric system, meter for length, liter for glug, 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 volume, and gram for weight. So standard unit and measurement word everybody knows and uses. Okay, the back page of test two. Some of the similar things. Okay, test three. We'll go to test three. And test three, one thing you can do to develop your superpower. Practice, practice, practice. The P's in your GoTappy package, physical appearance, personality, a great purpose from God. God has given you a great purpose for existing. Evolutionists say, well, what kind of purpose do you have? No purpose. You're just an accident. You're just randomly here, which is so not true. So praise God that he made us with our GoTappy package to bless him and to bless yourself and bless others. There's a potential test question. And the back page of test three, the back page, you've got all of your metric system prefixes. There they are. And I'm, I'm not going to tell you everything that's on the test, but the prefixes are on the test. The King Henry, it's on the test. Um, question 43 on this one. Why is Mr. C so excited about all the snow that fell in the mountains? Because it ends up running off into the reservoirs. So, and then the famous peaks to the northeast four peaks which is really cool so and you've got some information about Mars then 
all the information about Mars. So it's very cold on Mars. Average is about 85 below zero. Like, like where? Antarctica. Super cold. Um, why um, can you not direct your spacecraft last minute with changes? It's too far away. It takes 20 minutes for the signals to get there. So you can't make any last minute directions. It all has to be pre-programmed. The computers have to be pre-programmed. Um, there's a little bit of atmosphere, so the spacecraft is traveling at 12,000 miles an hour as it comes down. So it's going to produce a lot of heat. So you've got to have a heat shield, even though there's just a very thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide. So no water on the planet. So it's a scary place actually to send astronauts just because there's no water, there's no oxygen. So scary as. So to head up there. All right, I'm, I'm going over this test from 226. You've got all the matter chemistry stuff right there. So you'd be looking it over. There's your superpower. All the superpower stuff. It's there. There are the elements from the periodic table. Could be on the test. What do you call the center of an atom? A nucleus. Okay. Stars. What do you call the process that makes the heat and light and helium? Hydrogen, hydrogen, fusion, fusion. So, and then the strong nuclear force holds the protons together and the um, electromagnetic force holds the protons and electrons together in the atom law of opposites. Okay, all the information about stars, look it over. Stars. So make sure you look it over really well. What is space like? Really cold. Uh, almost no gravity, mostly empty. There's not much there. So Sirius, the brightest star that's on there. Why do stars uh, end up twinkling? Twinkle, twinkle. Little star, why do they twinkle? Because the light from the stars goes through our atmosphere, which is moving around. So that's why they twinkle. Okay. And there is Nick again. God created things out of nothing instantly by commanding them into existence. And there's test five. So anyway, just look over all your tests. I gave you the answers. So look over all your tests. You've got the answers. So. Okay, um, again, I'm going to show you a video on the giraffes. So, do you have to do divine designs on um, uh, some of your favorite divine designs on the semester exam? Yep, figure out what uh, divine designs you're interested in doing. You know, my favorite land animal, the giraffe, my favorite ocean animal is the humpback whale. But the gray whale, I'm, I'm really um, cool with the gray whale as well. So anyway, I pick uh, four or five or six divine designs that you might use. So, and you'll have to write the name of the divine design and its uh, design features. What are its design features? So be ready with that. The roller coaster you're going to see, they do something kind of unique or cool to make it extra scary. 
So enjoy that. Maybe it'll be an SSR. I hope so. So anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Philip. He's going to show the videos and then um, give you a chance to study tr to Triple R, the two study guides that you have in your hand so far. And if you need some time back there with the science activities, um, he's going to give you some time to do that. So Mr. Philip.